Hey, and welcome back to Test of Tuesday Tips, the mannequin making part two. Last time, I had taken apart my mold and was explaining what I was going to do. And I had clay all over this. I said I had to clean it. I got it really clean. Uh, I'm going to take off from where I left off. The last one I said that I was going to drill my holes, mark my locks so I don't drill them. I drilled my holes, I used a quarter inch drill bit with the wing nuts instead of clamps. And you're going to see in a minute, because this part, I am going to do the whole thing of pouring. Uh, normally, I wouldn't have poured one just to see, I would have just, we would have saw what happens, but I decided to test it. I had to figure out how much foam I needed for the pour, and I guessed about 10 ounces of A and B, and it was pretty close, it was just a little light not quite enough and that's what will happen and it won't be kind of stiff enough so I'm going to add a little bit more to this maybe maybe 11 ounces of each and we're going to hope that we get it what I have to do now is wax the mold and I already waxed it a, a whole bunch of times the uh, before I poured that first one to season it I add like six coats of wax on here. And you want to get the wax smooth because if you leave it not smooth, you lose your detail and it makes it look all, all funky kind of. You know, so I'm just going to put one coat of wax. And you want to make sure you get in your, you get it everywhere, including your nuts, especially your locks. Because the foam, if you get enough pressure as you're supposed to, it's gonna gonna want to push on your mold, and it's gonna squeeze through any gaps, and it'll lock your mold together. You want to really wax around your eyes and your nostril part details. Then we'll start bolting this together. And uh, use a nut driver. And when you do your nuts, you're just going to want them snug, not super tight, but just snug. And then I try to keep the nuts on the same side so when you're doing it, it it's all comes apart real easy. Like I said, you make a few of these, you go, wow. No wonder everybody buys them from research. And again, you just want these snug. You see the wax just is squeezing out. That's a good sign. Now, see here's my backboard. I got my hole drilled in it like I was talking about last time. And hopefully it's going to match the hole I have here for my pour hole. There we go. We'll try it that way. We'll put our longer bolts up through. I'll put a couple in and put nuts on it to make sure I'm lined up. We're almost to the fun part, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll check everything. Now, here's my little flap or pour hole that's supposed to line up with our other hole. We're all set. I'm going to pour my A and B in my trusty Coke cups, which I'm going to go right up here to this little dent in the Coke can. Make sure your B is B. Important tip. Here comes the hard part. Dump. Dump. 
I use an electric mixer. Here we go. See it's already starting to rise. So that's the hard part right there. Now with it, with my little flap there, I'm able to roll my mold around. Try to make sure the foam gets everywhere. And we can look in our cup and we can see that it's starting to go. Oh, and look, we got a lot of pressure here. It's coming through already. So that's a good sign. You can tell when you have too much foam because your mold will be in nine pieces all over the place. and. You'll have foam all over you. And as much as I would like to do that for you, just, you know, to show you what not to do, I, I don't want to do that much, you know. So I'm not going to do that. The next step is the unmolding. You have to let it set up. But especially in a complicated mold like this, where we have the legs and whatnot, if we let it set up completely hard, it's all it's really tough to get it out of here. So this one, we wanted the foam to be still soft enough that I could pop the legs out. And again, see how I like to put the bolts all on one side. You know, one side. See how that works? You know. This one, it's got the little pore hole and no flap. So you got to put your thumb over it, which worked really good last time. All right, now comes the tricky part. When to unmold it. If you don't want to wait too long, because it won't come out easy. If you go too soon, it's still expanding. Okay, so if we let our foam cool down. Then we're gonna. Unbolt our mold. Yep. And there we have it. Don't let this flash scare you because even at the at research and stuff, they come out of the mold, they have a flash on them and they clean them up. So there you go. Beautiful. Just gotta pop it off the backboard here. Okay, don't do this. Make sure you wax the back of your thing. There we go. But anyway, now all you gotta do is clean the flash up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Testa's Tuesday Tips. Actually, I'm not even a taxidermist. I just play one on YouTube.